All right, guys, welcome to episode five of Thunder Alley for the 2016 season. Um, we're just going to get rolling right into the video. Um, this week we have two hunts for you. First one's going to start out with Jeff Desitol. Um He gets an opportunity on one of the other pro staffers land to take a gobbler. Um, his wife actually shot a gobbler off the property too a week or two before, so um, it's a great hunt. We'll check that one out first. After that, we're going to roll right into uh, my hunt. I ended up going out with my roommate, and um, he had gobblers in the area, and he had a bunch of jakes in the area, and we had a little bit of a time constriction on how much we were going to be able to hunt because it's actually uh, Mother's Day weekend. So um, we went in there ready to shoot the first bearded turkey that came in. So never shot a jake before, so... Um, we were ready to go, so check that one out. Good afternoon, April 22nd, Friday evening. I just got to the property. I'm walking the ridge top. Down in the bottom, there's a, I heard some gobbling, so I just peeked over the edge. There's four toms in the bottom of this valley. No hens with them. A couple little yelps, they're gobbling, strutting. They're already headed my way. They're probably 300 yards, but they are headed this way. So let's hurry up and get set up and see how it plays out. See if I can't lay a smack down on a jelly head today. Stay tuned. Get these turkeys a little bit <clears throat> to get off the side of this ridge. Pretty sure I know where they're headed. They're off this side of the ridge right now, just starting to crest it, go down. I'm gonna go this way over the ridge. Go that way about 150 yards. Then I'll cross back over the ridge. 
I do it with no decoys and no calling. They should walk right by me. If they follow the same routine that they have for the last two weeks. be quiet short and sweet I got to the uh, cutoff point they're coming right up the edge just like I thought they would so stay tuned we should have a uh, big ending here real fast Well, as you can see, folks, I got it done for Thunder Alley. I was kind of skeptical how the night started out. When I got here, uh, I did a quick drive-by around the property, and there was no birds out in the field. This will be the first night in two weeks that there hasn't been birds in the fields around this piece of property. Come right up the, the fence line perfectly. I stayed quiet. No decoys, no calling. They just fed right up the tree line perfect. Uh, got it on film, too, so... And then I got this shot off. He was about 45 yards out, um, but it was good. I'm using Winchester's extended range. Uh, he's got probably, oh, he's got all of a nine inch beard, maybe nine and a half inch beards. And he's got like seven, eight spurs. It's probably 23 pound, 22, 23 pound. Nice Tom. I'm definitely happy with him. He will ride home in my truck, no problem. He'll make some good dinner. So I want to, uh, Thanks, Sean Devitt. He's a buddy of mine and a fellow pro staffer for allowing me access to his property. He owns this. Um, and he allowed my wife access, which she shot her bird last week. It's on film also. So thank you again, Sean. We greatly appreciate it. I will have to pay you back one of these days, one way or the other. So uh, I want to wish the rest of the pro staff at Rush Outdoors, keep the turkeys rolling. Alright guys, that's the episode for this week, episode 5 of Thunder Alley for the 2016 season. Thank you for watching. Uh, finished up there with uh, me and my roommate. Went out, got us a Jake, and uh, just an awesome hunt, awesome time being out there with him. And I uh, thank him a lot for that. Not a lot of people are willing to take other people out and hunt on their land, so I greatly appreciate that. Uh, check out the Whitetail Obsession coming up on the Hunt channel here in a week or two. Um, check out all our sponsors, everything. All the products we use are just awesome things, and we're lucky to have all the sponsors we have. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got for you this week. So thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys later.
Alright guys, um, this is the bird I shot down here with my roommate Brandon, <laughs> also a pro staff member. Uh, it's May 7th, fourth season, um, came down here with a, kind of a time restriction as to how much we get to hunt, so we were looking to shoot the first bearded thing that probably came in, so we had gobblers that sounded like in the bottom, but they didn't want to come up and these jakes were actually gobbling quite a bit for yeah, us. Yeah, we had them come in. They skirted around us and we're sitting out about 80 yards eating and I was able to purr enough and just talk to them the whole 20 minutes or so and next thing you know we're just staring at our phones and I look up and they're right on top of us so I told them get ready, got the camera on them as fast as I could and this is actually the same exact spot I shot my bird first season so it always turns out to be a real good spot here. Yep, so shot them with a 12 gauge, true goal sight. Shot most of my birds with it now. It's a really awesome sight. Dropped them right on the spot, so. Nitro turkeys pound. Yeah. But Brandon's living up to the legend. He's a crazy good turkey hunter, so maybe we'll get to do it again someday. Thanks for watching. I'm Cody Van Heron. I'm Brandon Grazo. See you guys later. All right, guys, that's episode five for Thunder Alley for the 2016 season. Uh, like I mentioned before, first up we had Jeff Desitol with that great bird. Then we rolled right into me and my roommate. Uh, what an awesome opportunity for me. Uh, my roommate was nice enough to take me up on his land and we got it done real quick. Back in time for Mother's Day. So, um, Just for you guys, uh, make sure you check out on the Hunt channel coming up in a week or two here. The Whitetail Obsession is going to be our TV show on there. And then... Uh, 
If you can, give us a like on Facebook and share all our videos. Everything helps and we sure really appreciate it. So thanks for watching and